Guys, I want to take this opportunity. Welcome everybody back to the Independent Investor Channel. Really following along the lines and belief that social media can be a very, very powerful conduit to information, introducing you guys to what I feel is one of the greatest opportunities that are presenting ourselves with everybody talking about the volatility caused by inflation and the potential for recession. We need to keep our eyes on the prize and make sure that we are continuing to be opportunistic and identifying opportunities that are being presented here with this recent sell-off in the stock market. Everybody is focused on all the wrong stuff right now and there are major innovations going on in the EV space, especially with my most bullish conviction in 2022 and that is with Hylion Holdings. They've just acquired the Carnot technology from General Electric in their additives division here. What this means for Hylion, it means that that transformative future vision that they have for a fuel agnostic future can be realized. What that means, guys, and for you guys that are new to the deal or new to Hylion, I do expansive weekly videos on Hylion. I would invite you to take a more in-depth journey with me on this opportunity because there is nothing in an 8 to 10 minute video that's going to get you to a point of understanding and really understanding that we are on the precipice, a very paradigm shift within the shipping and logistics space with regard to companies taking proactive measures to safeguard themselves away from the potential for regulatory oversight that will prohibit their use of diesel fuel and fossil fuels into the future specific to shipping and logistics. So guys, Hylion has taken this initiative just this week. The news is breaking and it is just my pleasure to share this information with you guys as the grander independent investor uh, audience in understanding what I have said from the beginning. A fuel agnostic future is the key in understanding the opportunity in this space. Currently, 99% of all logistics, especially Class 8 trucking, is dominated by diesel and the internal combustion engine. The question is, is there a, a better future? Is there a more efficient future? Is there a greener future? And there's, so there's a lot of different initiatives at work here. First, the green initiative, whether or not we can step away from a diesel-dominated future and still maintain the same level of durability, efficiency, as well as predictability, and maybe even potentially improve upon what we have grown accustomed to in a diesel-dominated past and present. What I'm speaking about is the driver experience, the payload that can be expected to be hauled by a diesel dominated application, uh, as well as what we have grown accustomed to, to attempt to minimize the greenhouse gas emissions that is plaguing the shipping industry as we speak. It is the number one industry, it is the number one polluting industry right now known to man and we are looking collectively to take a stance and a posture against this front. Does the technology exist? That is the golden question. And can, by introduction of said technology, actually maintain some levels of what's to expect through durability? Can we get from point A to point B in the reliable fashion that diesel has delivered upon over the last hundred years? It doesn't make sense to go all green if we cannot maintain the business and the bottom line total cost of ownership for these fleets. Hylion seems to have this solution. It seems to have really provided the very solution that a lot of people are afraid to just say outright, and that is bringing the charging mechanism along the ride with them and being able to charge the batteries en route is really what is being missed here by what people are construing to be a future that is going to be dominated by the BEV, the electric uh, uh, tractor trailer future. The real problem with that is the range that can be uh, assessed, and there's a lot of people that would suggest that, well, we're going to improve upon the BEV technology, and therefore our 150 and 250 mile of range is going to be improved upon. I beg to differ. And those improvements, although are forthcoming, will never, ever get to the potential that Hylion can boast right now. Double, 
triple, and in some cases quadruple what the BEV community can boast right now with their range. So they solved the range anxiety. Furthermore, the idea that a BEV vehicle can only go 150 to 250 miles on their range only to be subject to long downtimes with regard to their charging, up to 45 minutes to charge these vehicles, only speaks to downtime that the shipping and logistics companies just cannot incur. What Hylion is boasting is the ability to sit across from industry at this very moment and drive a bottom line TCO, a total cost of ownership. In other words, the longer that you run the vehicle, the more cost effective it is going to be for the shipping and logistics companies putting them into the rigor of over the road transport. Number two, the driver experience. These are quieter. These allow for hoteling through the APU unit and allow for a better driver experience which is going to attract a new talent pool to the trucking fleets uh, here to ensure that drivers can step into the, the vehicle and get behind the vehicle ve uh, wheel of these vehicles understanding that they are part of a transformative future and understanding that the more that they drive those vehicles the more helpful they are to the environment rather than the contrary and that is in a diesel application the more harm we are doing to the environment we are able to increase upon the payload and capacity that these vehicles can hold the uh, horsepower that can be rendered from these uh, direct applications EV applications is astounding the technology is there it's ready to be introduced the question now at these early innings of these games in a current transportation and logistics sector that is dominated by diesel is how long it will take to transition from a diesel dominated present to a more fuel agnostic tomorrow and that is the golden question and that is not one that I presume to know the answers to but my friends it is inevitable. It is inevitable that at some point this technology starts to become uh, integrated into the fleets, being enjoyed by the fleets through proof of concept, and actually integrated on a large scale. The question is when. The question for you as an investor is, do I want to be in on the ground floor of an opportunity that only presents itself about once every 50 years? My friends, we are in a transitional phase right now, stepping into an electrified vehicle future, and we are at the precipice of an unprecedented opportunity for investors to profit from this opportunity now, you are encouraged to do your own due diligence. You are encouraged to seek out this information that is widely available. This is not a secret, my friends. This is not uncovering or identifying with the needle in the haystack philosophy. If you haven't heard of the EV revolution, you need to get on board with this. You need to identify those potential profits, uh, pockets of opportunity for yourself and you need to stake your bets now because once this thing starts and the momentum takes off, what I am trying to prohibit for my investor community that follows me so intimately is the need to FOMO by this opportunity. We will calmly sit back and we will enjoy this transition to a cleaner tomorrow. And we will do so having had the knowledge and foresight ahead of the wave of momentum, which is inevitable, my friends. It is inevitable. We are on the precipice of a real paradigm shift in the trucking and logistics space, and it's only a matter of time before these uh, solutions get integrated for a better tomorrow, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to the information. I would highly encourage you to subscribe to the Independent Investor Channel. If you are not subscribed, you are in fact missing out. Leave your comments at the bottom of the video and share the message with any of those opportunistic investors out there interested in a value play like Hylion, looking for hyper growth into the future, guys. All the information is in the description below on this fantastic company. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into the message and good luck in your investment future.